There was once a day in Apex Legends where you found out what an heirloom is. And so you search about it and see pros and content creators using your favorite Legends heirloom. And my goodness, you couldn't believe how satisfying that kunai looked when it flipped and how badass Revan and Scythe is when you do the animations or even how Horizon's heirloom somehow looks like a dild. Point being, you knew that this cosmetic would cost you a lot of money, which neither of us have. And so up until this day, the very thing that you start to daydream about in class or at work is, will Apex Legends ever add a free heirloom to the game? And if so, what will it look like? I thought the same thing, until one day there was this leaker that kinda came out of the blue. He was actually a playtester for Apex Legends back in the day and this guy gave us some information about new skins and heirlooms coming to the game in the future. He mentioned everything that we saw in the Apex Legends season 20 trailer but even more intriguingly than that, he mentioned a free heirloom coming to the game as well. But of course, none of us believed him. Nobody knew who this random person was who was making all these claims. That is until one very faithful day, Apex Legends had launched the very first trailer for season 20. And among seeing all the new things, which I'm sure we're all well aware of, the perk system, the new mixtape map, a console whole players bunch of now skins, able Maggie's to ball has a thermite grenade in it. And I'm pretty damn sure that Lifeline has a season zero gold shield as an ability. And what exactly did we see in that trailer? That free heirloom baby. Something we just never saw EA actually ever adding to the game. Since you know, it's EA. But we need to cut EA some slack. People think that EA is money hungry, which don't get me wrong, they are. But until you try to play Destiny 2, then we'll talk about it. And so it turns out that the playtester that randomly came out of nowhere was actually right about the heirloom, along with many other leaks from a list of leaks that came out a while ago. But this thing won't just be your regular regular heirloom that has a few cool animations and that's it. This is actually a customizable heirloom. You can customize everything from the color of the heirloom right down to the handle, blade, and way more. Which, let's be honest, none of us can actually wait for. I'm just glad none of us will have to ruin our wallets over this one. But all jokes aside, you will have to put in the work to actually get the heirloom grinding a whole bunch of challenges over a period of time to actually get it. And it will most likely come during a collection event, or more specifically, a collab event. Very similarly to the Post Malone event we got as well as the Final Fantasy event, we can most likely expect this heirloom to come along with a collab event. Since the heirloom has absolutely nothing to do with any legend personally, much like the $300 death box that some of you guys paid for, weird, because as I'm sure you all know, this heirloom will be usable by any legend in the game. So if it has nothing to do with any legend, the only other possible way I could think that they'd introduce this is through a collab event. Unless they're feeling extremely generous and just let us immediately grind for it. But I'm pretty sure the very fact that EA is just giving out a free, not to mention customizable heirloom for any legend is quite mind-blowing. Because as we all know, EA has made a crazy amount of money just selling base heirlooms for specific legends that aren't customizable and just have some cool animations. And I'm sure you all remember this flatline skin from Season 4's Battle Pass. Nostalgia at its finest. One of the rarest skins in the game and definitely one of the best as well. And the community wanted the skin to come back for so long and it looks like EA actually listened. Well, kinda listened. In Season 20, not only can we grind for a free heirloom, but we can also grind for a free flatline reactive skin from season 4. It is also white and purple in color, which is actually a really good upgrade from the previous versions. But this reactive skin also comes with a free Wraith skin as well, which I am absolutely sure that all of us Wraith mains are very happy about, because both the skins match each other as well. But then that begs the question, why is EA just dishing up free skins and content for everyone? It is extremely out of character for such a money hungry company like EA. However, it is obvious. You see, the thing is, Apex Legends, Respawn, and EA have collectively taken some serious L's in the past, like making recolor collection events priced at $160, that terrible Peacekeeper reactive skin they also sold as a collection event reward was also priced at $160 and it was a recolor, the recent Deathbox skin 
that was priced at almost $400, which to my surprise, some of you guys actually purchased, weirdos. And because of EA's very intelligent decision-making skills, amongst other things like terrible SPMM in Apex, a bad rank system, and so forth, it has caused Apex Legends to take a massive dip in not only player numbers, but revenue as well. We all know that Apex Legends is a billion dollar game alone, and that has fallen way under what they expected to actually make from the game. And with the release of other games like PAL World, The Finals, and now recently Helldivers 2, it does seem like not only because it's the annual anniversary event for Apex, but maybe, just maybe, by some god-given miracle, EA is learning that you won't actually make money no matter how good the game is if all you focus on is making money. Who would have thought? In Season 20, the devs actually took the time to genuinely innovate in Apex Legends, like adding the perk system, which gives every legend 5 extra upgrades. I'm sure Maggie mains, Lifeline mains, are going to have an absolute field day. Aside from the quality of life updates and a revamped Evo Shield system, the new mixtape map, which is a revamp of the OG POI Thunderdome, is looking really good as well. So just for this season, maybe we can cut Respawn some slack and actually give them some props. Something we actually haven't done in a very long time. But I'm not so sure this season will be enough to keep the game alive for when X Defiant actually releases.